Tampa Bay's first crosstown ferry set sail today. Government leaders got to test the ride as the vessel went from one downtown to another. News Channel H Jamel A joins us now live at Vinoy Basin where the ferry is docked. And Jamel, you were on the boat earlier. How was it? Well, I can tell you, it definitely took my mind off of driving, which is the whole point. Officials here, they want to get drivers out of that rush hour traffic and onto the water. The wait is finally over. The Cross Bay Ferry is now ready to service Tampa Bay. A lot of people in Tampa Bay have never really tried something like this, as opposed to in New York or Seattle, where it's quite common. Provincetown 4 made its maiden voyage this morning with dozens on board. They tested out the sail from downtown St. Pete to the convention center in Tampa. Mayor Rick Christman pushed for the ferry earlier this year. We really needed to do something. We can't just rely on cars uh, for transportation. The Cross Bay Ferry is finally here in the Tampa Bay area. It's a 98-foot boat with 149 seats. Goes all the way between Tampa Bay. The ride just under an hour, and you never know who you're going to be riding next to. Even though it's a pilot program, commuters say it's worth the $1.5 million investment. I'm looking forward to it because obviously the concern with Tampa Bay is there's not a lot of public transportation options. I like to Uber, but I almost think maybe with the pricing of this, it might come out to be even a little less. On the other side of the bay, Mayor Bob Buckhorn said it's a win-win for both waterside communities. Both sides are doing really, really well. And, you know, those bridges shouldn't be barriers. They ought to be conduits to cooperation. This is one way to further connect our two cities because I can tell you this, we're going to succeed together. Now, Mayor Kreisman says in order for this pilot to really work, for them to really see if this is worth it, they need commuters to test it out. That's the only way they're going to be able to gauge if this is really a need in the community. Jen? Well, I mean, as a commuter myself, uh, from another direction, I can imagine this beats being stuck in traffic, but I can understand how some drivers may be not convinced this will alleviate all the congestion. What are you hearing? Well, a lot of the people that I spoke with, they agree this will not uh, alleviate all of those headaches, but they do say it's a step in the right direction. Again, uh, the ride is $10 each way, but again, Cross Bay, they're offering several specials for the month of November. Jen? Jamel Linnae, live in Tampa for us. Thank you very much.